I shall live and not die to proclaim what the Lord has done. My story is a celebration of victory over cancer. First, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to God for sending His word which heals, for it is by His stripes of Calvary that I was healed of cancer. I thank Him for He is always true to His promises, and just as He has promised in the scriptures, He has never left me, nor forsaken me. shall live and not die, to proclaim what the Lord had done. My story is a celebration of victory over cancer. First, I want to give all praise, glory and honor to God for sending His word which heals, for it is by His stripes of Calvary that I was healed of cancer. I thank Him for He is always true to His promises, and just as He has promised in the scriptures, He has never left me, nor forsaken me. To be told that you have cancer, that you would have to have had observable either lamps yes. or sometimes the shape or the mm -hmm. color of the mm -hmm. breast, a lot of signs that they list down as maybe somebody, a candidate with breast cancer. Mm -hmm. I had none of those. Oh wow. I had none of those. Even the way they tell so us to lay on the back and they, just not you know, feel if you have any lump on your breast. They don't all come, didn't with, feel anything. They don't all come anything. with lumps. Oh. So this is why I really highly recommend get your mammograms. I wasn't wise at the time to think that I don't need to do that. Because mm -hmm. maybe had, had I not gone, had the Kaiser, Kaiser clerk or mammogram clerk not persistently called me, mm -hmm. which again I call that a God moment because God had yes. my, you know. Yes. I probably wouldn't be here to tell you my story because wow. I hadn't planned on going because like I said I didn't have any lumps and uh, ductal carcinoma mm -hmm. uh, it's actually it's a calcification in the in the milk duct mm -hmm. so you really don't feel anything and there's right. other really deadly ones that actually also don't have you know uh, lamps mm -hmm. I, I can't remember the other ones mm -hmm. but yeah so that's the news I got on September 10 2009 and you know uh, Margaret I can tell you when the doctor was telling me the news. Mm -hmm. The funny thing, I think I had up until that time considered myself to be very healthy. Right. I had made very wise decisions, you mm -hmm. know, in the nutrition of my family. Yeah. So I knew I can't have any problem, you know, of mm -hmm. that kind of, you know, mm -hmm. 
diagnosis has been handed to me. Right. So he's telling me, well, we've got some bad news. Wow. So I'm looking at him, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We found some cancer in your breast and he went on to tell me how. He's gonna stop me now. Baby, no one's gonna put me down. Baby's gonna stop me from the level of hearing the bad news, taking the report and being afraid and you're saying no this isn't gonna shake me because Jesus is with me. That's right. And Jesus has a, has a, has has solved this or actually solved this two thousand years ago. Exactly. When he was on the cross and he said by my stripes you are healed. So you have resolved that. Mm -hmm. That's because right. you know Sister Justin, I think most people when they are given this kind of diagnosis, they don't, I think they don't even die out of the diagnosis. It's the fear. It is the fear. The mind because they accept the fear, the they accept mind. that death, that sentence. That's right. And that, that alone will kill you. Yeah. But just trusting mm -hmm. the Lord. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. here you are, I choose to trust you. I choose so like you are saying, God, hold me by your hand. That's what he does. All yes. the time he carries me. So you get to, to the end of the road. Yes. He comes right through and says, yes. child of mine, what is to yes. Is anything impossible? Mm -hmm. Then you know. So when I proceeded on from there and I drove um, home, you know, did a few errands that I had. I had some calls I needed to make back home in Kenya, so I went to a, a shop that sold uh, cards, a smoke shop by my mm -hmm. neighbor there in Corona. Mm -hmm. So next to the shop, as I bought my card so I could make the calls back to my family in Kenya, mm -hmm. I there was a beauty shop next to it. Yes. And I get instinctively the word of God. I mean, it's just the been so good. Just yeah. come into you. you are beautifully and just... wonderfully made. And instinctively, I just found myself <laughs> getting into the beauty shop. <laughs> and I, you know, I don't go regularly as much. And I just I do the whole works. Manicure, pedicure, wow. massage. Wow. I, that's the word that came mm -hmm. in my spirit. Yes. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes. This is not like somebody's going to get getting down to have cancer or receive reports like mm -hmm. those. So that's what I did, and then I proceeded and went on home. They did their looking whole work. Looking beautiful. Yes. Like you're looking today. A child of God. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> wonderfully <laughs> made. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yes. So and then. Um, and like I've shared with my testimony, even as I've written, and I hopefully you know the readers can get to get a you know a copy of this testimony. Yes, I've had so many God moments. Um, here I am again, this is Josephine, as we talked earlier in this recording, that I would be sharing uh, the journey, the food, and how I came to uh, the road to recovering from the cancer that I had been diagnosed with in 2009. So I'm really excited. In front of me, I have just to save time, I have just spread out the, the mainstay of the diet that I went through. Uh, Don't stop me. 